In a hospital in northern Iraq, a group of foreign doctors are treating the latest injured from the ongoing battle for Mosul. The doctors are from the Global Surgical and Medical Support Group, a charity that brings doctors from around the world to work in war zones. We try and bring the entire spectrum of medical experts from frontline medicine to EMTs, all the way up to advanced cardiothoracic and orthopedic surgeons, such as uh, one of our surgeons behind me now. Um, and we bring that to conflict areas where they're needed the most. The doctors are working on removing shrapnel from a civilian injured in a mortar explosion in Mosul. The group says that what makes its work so different is the fact that not just treating patients, but they're also sharing their expertise with local doctors. Every time a patient is treated, local doctors are present to learn from some of the world's top medical specialists. Our goal is to really build the capacities of the locals so that they can essentially take care of themselves. The group first visited northern Iraq two years ago, bringing just five people. This trip, 16 medical staff are here. It's not needing surgery. The exercise is on the back. If you uh, guys offer physical therapy, they can offer physical therapy. <laughs> The intense fighting in Mosul between ISIL and Iraqi authorities has already caused 100,000 civilians to flee. Thousands have been injured. The fight with ISIS, which is really the biggest humanitarian disaster that I feel we will see in our lifetimes, this is the most acute need for this type of expertise. Some of the doctors, like Egypt's Khalid Emara, were initially concerned by Iraq's notorious security situation. Yes, I was worried uh, about the security, but uh, I noticed from the early beginning that the organization is well uh, planned, so gradually my worries <laughs> went away. The charity says it hopes the battle for Mosul will soon be over, but equally it's prepared to return if the war drags on. Toby Muse, CCTV, Duhuk, Iraq.